Hey, what's up? Welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, everything technology related. Today we're going to be discussing or talking about how often should you reformat your hard drive? Is it necessary to do it every six months, every year, every other year? How do you know when to reformat your, your, your hard drive, meaning reinstall your operating system, and is it even necessary at all once you install the operating system? So let's let's talk about it a little bit. Reformatting means you wipe off all the data off the drive, and assume you should always back up. By the way, when you reformat your drive, you wipe all the data off and you start fresh. Now, people, I've heard people say you should do it every year, every six months, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. But to be to be honest, in my experience, you don't have to unless you shouldn't reinstall or format and reinstall unless there's an, an absolute need and once in my opinion you should always keep ha, install your operating system with this mindset I'm installing this operating system to use it as long as physically possible um, without either the drive dying or without me upgrading my operating system and I want to do a fresh install so I don't think it's necessary to really to format so often uh, I think if you take good care of your of your operating system, meaning like in Windows, you run disk cleanup, you defrag, uh, you defrag your hard drive every so often, you know, whenever it needs. In fact, on Vista, it defrags every night, whether you know it or not. It's set to do that by default. Um, in the background, it doesn't even slow down my machine. I've been working while it's been defragging it. Don't even notice. Um, so that's another thing. Tr maybe set up different partitions. Partitions are using another drive to hold your data. That is a very um, good idea. In fact, that's what I do. I, I used to set up a partition for Windows and applications, and then I used to set up a partition for all my data, my documents, my pictures, my videos, my uh, music, and so on. That way, I would separate the two, and it would le le less fragmentation. And also, it would also make it easier if I ever had to reinstall for whatever reason. I wouldn't have to worry about losing all my data or backing it up. I would just reinstall on that separate partition or the separate hard drive. What I do now is I have two sep I have separate hard drives which I keep all my data on and one oper one hard drive for the operating system and the applications. Um, remember, if you reformat, it means you have to reinstall everything. You have to reinstall all your applications, you redo all your settings, etc., etc. Of course, you can always save some of these things via configuration files, but that's not always the case. Um, oftentimes, you hear people complaining about how the registry on Windows will uh, you know, become corrupt and bit rot and, you know, get really large. And from my experience and from what I've been reading from Windows experts and whatnot, it's really, it's really not the case. Windows does a pretty, at least in newer versions, from, X, I would say from 2000 to, to so on, XP Vista, does a much better job managing the registry in the sense that unless you're constantly, constantly installing or uninstalling applications like all the time, every day, the chances of the registry getting so large that it's going to affect the system are slim to none. Um, so you are most likely fine keeping your operating system installed from day one and leaving it until you ever upgrade your hard drive, want to upgrade the operating system, or maybe even even you know install another operating system on a separate partition or another drive. Uh, when you're dual booting or multi booting, make sure this is just a side note: oldest operating system to newest. You're like let's say you want to do XP and Vista. XP first. General, this is a general rule of thumb. You could do it either way, but it's easier to do XP than Vista or 2000 XP Vista. It just makes it a lot easier uh, in terms of the setup. So, do you really have to format every six months? No. I, I don't think. Even if you're a power user, I don't think you have to. At least in my opinion. I, I really don't. I don't, see, I don't see it as a necessary thing to do. Run disk cleanup every so often. Run defrag. Um, you know, clear your, your internet cache, your temp files. In fact, disk cleanup will do all that for you. Eh, eh, don't install crap or, you know, system optimizers. They generally, generally are, you know, not, not the best rule, uh, not the best way to go in order to increase performance. Maybe add RAM if you need to. Um, get a bigger hard drive. Make sure you're not running low on hard drive space. Things like that, they make a difference. Especially adding RAM really does boost performance, and I recommend you do that. Um, nowadays, two gigabyte, two gigabytes of RAM is pretty much standard. 
Um, and it's, it's pretty basic. You know, one gigabyte, two gigabytes of RAM is pretty standard nowadays. So, you know, as long, and make sure your motherboard can support it, by the way. If your, mo if your motherboard can't support it, then stick with what you got or go as high as it can. Especially if you're just surfing the web, browsing, you know, surfing the web and checking email. You really don't need that much power. And I guarantee you for the average user, most machines run perfectly fine. Granted, there's no spyware, viruses, or whatnot on them. You don't have to reformat that often. I don't know. I tr I don't think you do. So, the, that answers that question. Anyway, this has been Live.BestTech. Not the place where all the tech in the world takes place. And uh, I appreciate you watching. So, hopefully, you come by, say hi to me, in Live.BestTech. We have a chat room, by the way. It was going 24-7, 365. Even if, I'm not, even, even if I'm not live, we still have the chat. And it's still going all the time. It goes like this. Just goes. People chatting away. So come say hi to me. I'm usually hanging around in chat. People are also there. We have uh, Gamer right now. We have Vin. We have uh, Kevin. We have uh, Belthazar. We have a whole bunch of people in the chat room right now. We have, actually, we have 93 people right now. So come by, say hi, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.